Hello everyone, this is Bob from Franken Cooler. I'm out in the afternoon on a hot Arizona afternoon. I believe temperature is about 110, still 110. Basically, I have my new Flowbox Twin on the right and my traditional Franken Cooler cooler on the left. I've had people asking how these two compare as far as temperature differential. They're both considerably different designs, so I thought I would just pull them both out here, put a block of ice in each on a hot afternoon, and just show you what they do. Anyway, let's take a look at the twin. The twin is doing 73 degrees, basically at the end of the nozzle. The regular Franken cooler is doing 71, but it's actually being sampled at the base of the blower, so actually the air is traveling further on this one. So temperature-wise, they're probably very similar. If anything, maybe the blow box is just a tad cooler. Because of the design of the blow box, the air and the water are completely segregated. The uh, Franken cooler, the air and water are segregated by using an insulated panel between the air chamber and the ice and water chamber. Uh, so it's still pretty good. Maybe not quite as good as keeping the air and water completely away from each other. The Blowbox Twin is sitting on my $17 Walmart Igloo cooler. And uh, I do not have it permanently affixed to the lid. I, I designed this unit to be permanently mounted to a cooler, so you have an all-in-one solution like the, the cooler on the left. But I have not screwed the two together, so the Blowbox Twin can be used independently like a regular Blowbox. It has enough umbilical tubing on it to uh, provide about a three-foot separation between the cooler and the blower unit itself. Where the twin is significantly different than the regular Franken cooler on the left is just the ease and speed of putting it together and building it. Outside of cutting the hole for the battery box and the top of the case, uh, you know, there's very little major cutting to do. Obviously on the cooler on the left, uh, there's quite a few cuts been made to the lid of that cooler to affix blowers and battery box and motor controller and switch and so on. So it takes obviously a lot more time to build the cooler on the left than it did the one on the right. So that's really the big advantage to the Blowbox Twin. Uh, Price-wise, by the time it's all said and done, you're probably going to have close to the same money in both units. Performance-wise, they should perform about the same. I should last about the same length of time and so on. It's just two different ways to go about it. So anyway, for a place where you possibly want remote operation of the, of the uh, blower heat exchanger unit, like the blow box, the one on the right works well. Uh, if you're looking for a, a larger all-in-one unit, um, the one on the left obviously has been a great design ever since it was uh, conceived. It works awesome. I've been using this thing. This is like the fourth or fifth year I've used it now. So anyway, they both do the same thing essentially, just in two different fashions. So there you have it. The regular Franken cooler and the new Flowbox Twin.